The sun shone brightly, casting its golden rays over the vast expanse of the ocean. It made the water sparkle like a sea of diamonds, each wave catching the light and reflecting it back in a dazzling display. The Maldives was a beautiful place, a paradise on earth with its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters and vibrant marine life. Below the waves, a coral city thrived, teeming with life and colour. The coral formations stood tall like skyscrapers, creating a bustling underwater metropolis. Fish swam in and out of the coral, darting through the nooks and crannies, adding to the vibrant tapestry of life. This was home to Finny, Bubbles and Echo, three parrotfish who were as colourful as the coral they lived in. They were parrotfish with scales as bright as rainbows. Finny was the bravest, always leading the way through the coral maze. Bubbles was the most curious, always eager to explore new places and discover hidden treasures within the reef. Echo, with his booming voice, was the loudest. His calls could be heard echoing through the water, rallying his friends for new adventures. What shall we explore today? The reef is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Let's find the biggest clam and see what's inside. Maybe we'll discover a hidden pearl or a new friend. That's silly, Echo. But it does sound like fun. How about we look for new coral formations instead? The reef is always changing and there's always something new to see. Maybe we'll find a coral formation we've never seen before. I heard there's a giant brain coral nearby. It's supposed to be one of the largest in the reef. Let's go find it and see for ourselves. Three friends, nicknamed the Reef Rangers, loved exploring. They knew every nook and cranny of their coral city. Today, their fins took them past swaying sea fans and playful clownfish. Look, a cave. I've never seen this before. The entrance glowed with a strange light. It pulsed softly, like a heartbeat. Curiosity bubbled inside them. Even Finny, usually cautious, felt a pull towards the mysterious light. We have to see what's in there. Swimming into the cave, the water grew cooler. The strange light grew stronger. It painted the walls with an otherworldly glow. The parrotfish named Echo had never ventured this deep before. The deeper he swam, the more intense the light became, casting eerie shadows that danced along the cave walls. It was both mesmerizing and unsettling. Wow, this is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. Ahead, the cave opened into a large chamber. In the center, a building hummed with energy. It shimmered, reflecting the strange light from the cave walls. The structure seemed ancient, yet it pulsed with a life of its own. Echo could feel the vibrations in the water, a rhythmic thrum that resonated deep within him. What is that place? It looks like some kind of temple or sanctuary. He had never seen anything like it before. Echo, usually fearless, felt a shiver run down his spine. The air, or rather the water, was thick with an ancient energy, something that felt both inviting and dangerous. He couldn't shake the feeling that they were not alone. I don't know, but we need to be careful. This place feels alive. We should proceed with caution. There might be secrets here that are better left undisturbed. Let's stay close and watch each other's backs. As they swam closer, they saw it was a laboratory. Inside, humans worked with bubbling tubes and glowing screens. They're growing coral. He watched, mesmerized, as a scientist carefully tended to a tiny coral polyp. Why would they do that? Our reef is already full of them. Finney, observant as always, noticed screens displaying images of bleached and damaged coral. Maybe they're helping coral reefs that aren't as healthy as ours. One of the scientists, noticing the curious parrotfish, smiled and waved. He pointed to a screen. It showed images of pollution and boats damaging the reef. He's showing us the dangers, realized Pip. Things that can hurt the coral. Bubbles gasped. That's terrible. We need to do something to help. Echo, understanding dawning on his face, nodded. We can be like those humans, heroes for the coral. Suddenly the lights in the lab flickered. A loud whirring sound echoed through the chamber. What's happening? asked Bubbles, his scales flashing with worry. I think they're closing down for the night, said Perry, noticing the humans putting away their equipment. We need to leave. Now. Echo, always the fastest swimmer, sped towards the cave entrance. Follow me, he shouted over the whirring. The reef rangers swam as fast as they could, their hearts pounding. They followed the fading light back through the tunnel. Finally, they burst back into the open ocean. The familiar sights and sounds of their reef welcomed them home. That was close, gasped Bubbles, catching his breath. We made it, said Perry, relieved. 
He looked at his friends, a new seriousness in his eyes. But we have a lot to think about. From that day on, the Reef Rangers weren't just explorers. They had always been curious adventurers, navigating the vibrant underwater world with a sense of wonder and excitement. But now, their mission had evolved into something far more significant. They became protectors of their beloved coral city. The parrotfish took on the responsibility of ensuring the health and safety of the reef, understanding that their actions had a direct impact on the ecosystem. They shared what they had learned with all the other fish, spreading the message of conservation. The parrotfish held gatherings where they taught the importance of preserving the coral and maintaining the delicate balance of their underwater home. They knew that even though they were small, they could make a big difference. Each parrotfish, no matter its size, played a crucial role in the health of the coral, moved harmful algae, and ensured that the coral could thrive. The future of their coral city and all the reefs in the ocean depended on everyone doing their part. The parrotfish understood that their efforts were part of a larger global movement to protect the oceans and the countless species that called them home. And the reef rangers were ready to lead the way. With determination and a deep sense of purpose, they swam through the coral, inspiring others to join their cause. Together, they would ensure that the reef remained a vibrant, thriving sanctuary for generations to come.